pelvic pain in men, symptoms, causes, and treatments. If you ever experience discomfort in the area between your abdomen and thighs, you might be dealing with pelvic pain. In men, this type of pain can be linked to the urinary system, the reproductive system, or even intestinal issues. Understanding the possible causes is the first step toward finding relief and knowing when it's time to see a doctor. What causes pelvic pain in men? There isn't just one reason why pelvic pain happens. There are several. Paying attention to your other symptoms can help narrow down the cause. Let's go through some of the most common ones. Urinary tract infection, UTI. Your urinary system is responsible for making and removing urine. When bacteria build up in the urinary tract, it can lead to a urinary tract infection or UTI. While UTIs are more common in women, men can get them too. A bladder infection, known as cystitis, is one of the most frequent types of UTIs. The most common symptoms include pelvic pressure or pain, frequent urge to urinate, painful urination, blood in the urine, cystitis. Cystitis is an inflammation of the bladder that can be caused by more than just infections. Other triggers include certain medications, chemical irritants, radiation therapy, or long-term catheter use. When cystitis develops, the pain usually appears in your pelvic area. You might also notice burning or painful urination, needing to urinate often, cloudy, dark, or foul-smelling urine, blood in the urine, prostatitis. The prostate gland plays an important role in producing semen. When it becomes inflamed, the condition is called prostatitis. This can be caused by bacterial infections, nerve damage, or sometimes no clear reason at all. Symptoms of prostatitis often overlap with other urinary problems, but can include pelvic and genital pain in the penis or testicles, lower back or abdominal pain, pain between the scrotum and rectum, painful urination or frequent urination, cloudy or bloody urine, painful ejaculation, Flu-like symptoms in bacterial prostatitis. Sexually transmitted infections, STIs. Some types of pelvic pain in men can be linked to sexually transmitted infections, or STIs. These infections are passed through sexual contact, and sometimes they don't cause any symptoms at all, making them tricky to catch early. In men, pelvic pain is often associated with chlamydia or gonorrhea, two bacterial infections that often appear together. Along with pelvic or abdominal pain, you might notice discharge on the penis, painful urination, testicular pain, if left untreated. STIs can lead to more serious health issues, so it's important to get tested and treated quickly. Hernia. A hernia occurs when tissue pushes through the muscle wall that usually holds it in place. The most common type in men is an inguinal hernia, which happens when a part of the intestine pokes through the abdominal muscles near the groin. Typical signs of a hernia include a painful lump in your lower abdomen or groin, a bulge that disappears when you lie down or can sometimes be pushed back in, dull pelvic pain or pressure, weakness in the groin, worsening pain when you laugh, cough, or bend over, a growing bulge or sensation of fullness. Hernias don't go away on their own and usually require medical attention. Irritable Bowel Syndrome, IBS. Not all pelvic pain is linked to the urinary or reproductive system. Sometimes, it comes from the digestive tract. Irritable Bowel Syndrome, or IBS, is a chronic condition that affects how the large intestine functions. While the exact cause isn't known, it's thought to be related to intestinal muscle issues, gut bacteria, or even nerve sensitivity. IBS can lead to both pelvic and abdominal discomfort, along with digestive problems, such as cramping, bloating and excess gas, constipation, diarrhea, or a mix of both, white mucus in the stool. IBS is often a long-term condition, but treatments can help manage the symptoms. Appendicitis. Another possible cause of pelvic pain in men is appendicitis. Inflammation of the appendix, a small sac attached to the large intestine. This condition is considered a medical emergency. Pain from appendicitis usually begins around your belly button before moving to the lower right side of your abdomen. It tends to get worse over time, especially when you cough, sneeze, or make sudden movements. If you suspect appendicitis, it's important to seek immediate medical care since untreated appendicitis can become life-threatening. 
Urinary stones. Urinary stones are hard mineral deposits that form in the urinary tract. They may develop in the kidneys, known as kidney stones, or in the bladder as bladder stones. Sometimes, a small kidney stone can pass into the bladder and grow larger there. Not all stones cause symptoms, but when they move, they can trigger sharp pelvic pain. Other signs may include pain in the side or back, just under the ribs, kidney stones, painful urination, frequent need to urinate, blood in the urine, cloudy or dark urine. Kidney and bladder stones can vary in severity, so medical evaluation is key if symptoms appear. Urethral stricture. The urethra is a narrow tube that carries urine from the bladder out of the body and also transports semen during ejaculation. Sometimes, scarring can form inside the urethra due to infections, inflammation, or injury. This narrowing is called a urethral stricture. Pelvic pain is a common symptom, but you may also notice painful urination, slow or weak urine stream, dark or bloody urine, leakage or dribbling, swelling of the penis, blood in the semen, recurrent urinary tract infections, UTIs. Because urethral strictures block urine flow, they can lead to ongoing urinary problems if left untreated. Benign prostatic hyperplasia, BPH. Benign prostatic hyperplasia, or BPH, is an enlarged prostate gland. While it's not cancerous, it can still cause significant discomfort. As the prostate grows, it presses on the urethra and bladder, which can disrupt normal urine flow and create pelvic pain. Common symptoms of BPH include pain or burning with urination, frequent urination, especially at night, a constant urge to urinate, weak urine stream, urinary leakage or incontinence, foul-smelling urine, pelvic or lower abdominal pain after ejaculation. BPH is a very common condition as men age, and treatment can range from lifestyle changes and medications to procedures that relieve the pressure on the urethra. Pudendal nerve entrapment. The pudendal nerve is the main nerve of the pelvis, responsible for sensation in areas such as the buttocks and penis. When this nerve becomes irritated, compressed, or damaged, the condition is known as pudendal nerve entrapment or pudendal neuralgia. The hallmark symptom is constant pelvic pain, which often worsens when sitting. The pain can feel like burning, crushing pressure, prickling or tingling, stabbing sensations. Other symptoms may include numbness in the pelvic area, heightened pain sensitivity, frequent or urgent need to urinate, pain during sex, erectile dysfunction. Because this type of nerve pain is often long-lasting and disruptive, professional treatment is usually needed to find relief. Abdominal adhesions. Another possible source of pelvic pain in men is abdominal adhesions. These are bands of scar tissue that form in the abdomen often after abdominal surgery. The adhesions may connect two organs or bind an organ to the abdominal wall. In most cases, adhesions don't cause any noticeable symptoms. But when they do, they can lead to abdominal pain that sometimes radiates into the pelvis. In more severe cases, adhesions may twist or pull on the intestines, leading to intestinal obstruction, a condition that requires urgent medical attention. Chronic Pelvic Pain Syndrome, CPPS one of the most common causes of pelvic pain in men is chronic pelvic pain syndrome, or CPPS. It's sometimes referred to as chronic nonbacterial prostatitis because it makes the prostate feel tender, but unlike bacterial prostatitis, there's no infection involved. The exact cause remains unclear, but it's thought to be linked to inflammation, nerve issues, or even muscle tension in the pelvic floor. Symptoms of CPPS often come and go and may include persistent or intermittent pelvic pain. Lower back pain, pain in the penis, testicles, or rectum, frequent need to urinate, pain that worsens when sitting for long periods, painful urination or bowel movements, discomfort or worsening pain during sex, erectile dysfunction. Because CPPS is chronic, managing it often requires a combination of medical treatment, stress management, and lifestyle changes. Post vasectomy pain syndrome, PVPS. For some men, Pelvic pain can develop after vasectomy, a surgical procedure used as a permanent form of birth control. 
In about 1 to 2% of cases, men experience long-term discomfort known as post-vasectomy pain syndrome, PVPS. This condition can cause ongoing genital pain that radiates into the pelvis and abdomen. Other possible symptoms include painful sex, painful erections, painful ejaculation, reduced erectile function. PVPS doesn't happen to most men who undergo vasectomy, but when it does, it can have a big impact on quality of life. Fortunately, there are treatment options available. Diagnosing pelvic pain in men. If you're experiencing pelvic pain, the first step is getting an accurate diagnosis. Doctors may use several tests, including physical examination, checking your abdomen and pelvis for swelling, tenderness, or lumps, blood tests, looking for signs of infection or poor kidney function, urine tests, analyzing a urine sample to check for urinary tract problems, imaging tests, ultrasound, CT scans, or MRI to get detailed images of organs and tissues. These tests help narrow down the cause so you can receive the right treatment. Pelvic pain home remedies. While you're waiting to see a doctor or alongside medical care, there are some ways to manage discomfort at home. Heating pad. Applying heat to the lower abdomen or pelvis can relax muscles and block pain signals. Over-the-counter pain relievers. Medications like ibuprofen or acetaminophen can ease mild pelvic pain, especially from small kidney stones or inflammation. Medical treatments for pelvic pain in men. The right treatment depends on the underlying cause. Your doctor may recommend. Antibiotics. For infections such as UTIs, prostatitis, or STIs. Prescription pain medication. If over-the-counter options aren't enough. Always follow your doctor's instructions. Surgery. In cases of kidney stones, hernias, appendicitis, urethral strictures, abdominal adhesions, or post-vasectomy pain syndrome, PVPS. When to see a doctor. Don't ignore pelvic pain. Getting care early can prevent complications. See a doctor if you notice. Pain that suddenly gets worse. Redness, swelling, or tenderness in the pelvic area. Fever, nausea, or vomiting. Trouble urinating or changes in your urine. Even if your symptoms seem mild, pelvic pain can signal a more serious condition, so it's always better to get checked. Final takeaway. Pelvic pain in men can come from many different causes, ranging from infections and digestive issues to nerve problems or structural conditions. While home remedies may provide temporary relief, the most important step is to identify and treat the root cause with the help of a healthcare professional. If you found this video helpful, Make sure to like, subscribe, and turn on the notification bell so you never miss an update. And don't forget to share this video with someone who might benefit from it. For more reliable guidance on fertility, reproductive health, and overall wellness, stay connected with Self Love Science, your daily fertility and reproductive health guide.